Smart home automations are great. I love them and it's a big part of what we do here on this channel, but let's face it, sometimes you might just not want these automations to run. For example, you know, I probably don't want my nightly automation that turns off all the lights and locks the door if maybe I have guests over. So today I wanna show you an easy way that you can handle this sort of thing. We're gonna create a guest mode that when enabled will force your automations to not run. It'll basically skip the automation. That way you never have to worry about leaving your guests in the dark. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane. If this is your first time here and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos published every Sunday and live streams every Wednesday. Today's video is sponsored by Econet. They make a product called the Bulldog Valve Robot and I have it set up in possibly one of my most important automations here in my smart home. If any of my water sensors around my entire house detects a leak, the Bulldog Robot will automatically shut off the water to my entire house without me even having to be there or do anything else. It's a retrofit option, so you don't need to cut any pipes or hire a plumber. The build quality is fantastic on this thing and they have really good customer service as well. They have a Z-Wave version and a Wi-Fi version. Now they don't support HomeKit natively, but both of these do work in HomeKit through HomeBridge, which is what I'm doing. Works great. They also support SmartThings, Google, Alexa, and IFTTT. Shutting the water off immediately can potentially save you a ton of money and damages in the event of a water related emergency and I just love the peace of mind that I get having this thing set up and automated in my smart home. Check out the link below in the description for more information on the Bulldog Valve Robot and big thanks to Econet for sponsoring today's video. The other night I was hanging out at a friend's house drinking beer watching some football and then all of a sudden at 10 p.m. a lot of his lights in the living room just just kind of turned off. He whipped out his phone real quick and started kind of turning lights back on one by one. So what exactly happened here? This was his nightly automation that he has set to run every night at 10 p.m. and when triggered, turns off the lights. Although this is normally perfect for his schedule, I assume he'd rather not have this happen while, you know, hanging out with guests on the weekend. And then there was a similar comment over in my member Discord server. If you're a channel member, you can get access to that Discord community and some other cool perks. Just click the join button down below uh, next to the subscribe button if you're interested. But one of our members, Tom, posted over there. He said, I had some guests over last night. I needed to leave my apartment to run a few forgotten errands at the local night shop. After Leaving, of course, my home went into away mode and all the lights, music, and screens shut down with all my guests there. Is there any way to avoid such an embarrassment? So this is another great example of when you'd want an automation not to run. Tom is using a location-based automation that runs when he leaves his home. So all these situations can be fixed with the simple guest mode, and you can do the same thing for something like a vacation mode or any other modes that you might want to set up. Stick around, I'll have a couple more ideas towards the end of this video. So let's set up a guest mode, you know, specifically for this kind of scenario. This guest mode will essentially just be a simple toggle switch and we'll use that switch as a condition for our automation. So let me explain, I'll break it down really just into two separate parts to get this all set up. First, we need our guest mode switch. There are two good ways to do this. If you are using something like Homebridge or Hoobs, you can use the dummy switches plugin, which is great. Uh, uh, and just create a virtual switch. Call it guest mode and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. You now have a guest mode switch. If you don't have Homebridge or Hooves or anything like that, don't worry. You can still do the same thing with just a cheap smart plug. Any smart plug will work as long as it supports HomeKit. We won't actually plug anything into this plug, so you might wanna just put it you know, somewhere out of sight, out of mind. We'll just need access to this smart plug in the Home app. Call it guest mode and you're all good to go. First part is complete. Now that we have our guest mode switch in the home app, we'll need to add this as a condition to our automations. Basically, we want our automation to say, yes, run every night or when I leave the house, however you want it, unless guest mode is turned on. So that guest mode switch will be our condition. And there's really two ways to set this up. You can either do it all in the home app using convert to shortcut 
or you can use a third party HomeKit app. Either one of these methods is fine. I'll actually go ahead and show you both methods real quick today, just so you get an idea. Pick whichever one suits you. Okay, so if we open up the Home app and let's go over to create a new automation, you can, you know, time of day when you leave the house or whatever, um, let's go with people leave and we'll do just like Tom's scenario, if I leave the house, so I'm gonna tap just me here, choose next. And instead of choosing our accessories, you would want to come on or off like normal, probably off if you're leaving the house. I'm gonna go all the way down, tap convert to shortcut. And here you can choose your um, accessories. I'm just gonna delete that to keep it simple. We're gonna tap add action and we're gonna go look for an if action, okay? And we're gonna, again, wanna say if that guest mode is off basically. So let's go to select accessory. Now we're gonna look for that guest mode accessory. There we go, guest mode. So if guest mode is off, now we're gonna control the accessories in our home. So just control Watley Home right here. And you can choose if you have a scene set, if you have certain lights, you can do however you want. Maybe you have a leaving scene, you can just tap that. Uh, let's just create a couple lights here just to kind of give you an example. And I wanna make sure all these are off. Tap done. And it's really that easy. We can put a nothing action here at the end if you want, or you can just delete otherwise. But this is gonna say, when I leave the house, if guest mode is off, it's gonna turn off my accessories right here. Now, if guest mode is not off, meaning if guest mode is on, it's gonna do nothing. So it's gonna skip this and it's not gonna run that automation if, get, if guest mode is off. So tap next and you're done. When I leave the home, you can name this if you want. That's all you have to do for this method. Now, real quick, I do wanna show you if you wanna add this to an existing automation, maybe you already have an automation set for when you leave the house, you can do that without having to recreate everything. Let me show you that real quick. So here's a good one. Let's. Uh, Let's do this one right here. So uh, when the last person leaves home, I have all these couple of scenes, so I don't really want to recreate this. If you just go in here and tap select scenes and accessories, you can see my stuff is already selected. So this could be an existing automation. Maybe you want to add this to go all the way down, tap convert to shortcut here, and you can see it's going to automatically put those scenes uh, and those lights and everything that you already had configured in here. So you don't have to kind of reselect those. Now you just look for that if action, Select accessory, same thing we just did. Guest mode is off, put this in there. Boom, there you go, that's all you really need to do to update your existing automations. So now the other way to do this is using a third-party HomeKit app, so something like the controller for HomeKit app, the Home Plus app, uh, the Eve app is a free one, so the Eve app is free. Any of these apps, these are third-party HomeKit apps, they allow you to add conditions to your automations really easily. It's something you really can't do in the Home app unless you do that whole convert to shortcut and use scripting stuff, so maybe you wanna go this route. Um, I'll open up the Home Plus app. Again, you can use any of these HomeKit apps. I'll put links to all of them down below. Uh, but if I go over to automations, let's just create a new automation and I'll name it, you know, nightly. This will be my not nightly automation. And the event, let's do a time of day. So let's say the time changes to, let's go 10 p.m. So let's do one like my buddy had that go, went off the other night. So 10 p.m., um, you can choose under the conditions. So this will happen on all days. So you can change this to certain days if you want. All days is good. I'm gonna go in accessory state. So these are your conditions. So this must also be true. So I'm gonna look for that guest mode switch. Here it is right here, power state. So if the studio guest mode power state is equal to off. Uh, so that's what we want. We want it to only run if it's off. So every night at 10, if guest mode is off and also it's during, the, this is any day of the week. Now I'm going to add accessory and you can choose which lights you want to control or you can add a scene. So I can just, you know, say all lights out, uh, boom. That's really all you have to do. So now every night, 10 PM, use that uh, guest mode as your condition right here, turn out all my lights. That's all you have to do. 
Now that our automations are all set up, all you need to do is just turn on that guest mode anytime you don't want those automations to run. You can take this concept you know, into other directions too, like maybe a vacation mode I mentioned earlier. I was thinking even setting up a neighborhood walk switch, something like that. So I had this automation set for a while that would basically open my garage door every time I arrived home. It worked great, but every time I'd go on a walk around the neighborhood, my garage door would open when I was like walking down certain streets you know like behind my house or whatever so now i can just create like uh you know going on a walk switch or whatever you want to call it and use that in my automation so that it won't run if i'm going on a walk just turn on that switch when i go on a walk so those are just some more ideas for you we want these automations to work for us obviously but the last thing we want is to get frustrated or embarrassed when they you know run at times when we don't want them to like I don't know, when you have a house full of guests or something like that. You can check out my automations and playlists right here for some more videos, you know, to help you get the most out of your smart home automations. Thanks again to Econet for sponsoring today's video. Check out that link below for more details on the Bulldog Valve robot that I'm using. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already for new videos and live streams every week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.